everybody and welcome to Slay the Spire. This is a fantastic deck building, dungeon crawling, kind of roguelike game that I've been really enjoying lately. We played it uh, the other night over on Twitch and had a blast, so I decided I'd like to do a short series or at least, I don't know, see if, uh, if you guys enjoy an episode or two here on CTOP2. You can always follow me on Twitch if you want to see more games like this, but this game is super cool. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it by now, and if you haven't, like I said, it's a deck building card game. Well, kind of deck building. I guess I'd say that. Uh, right now, we only have one of the characters unlock the Ironclad. I reset my progress from the stream because I kind of wanted to start uh, start over on YouTube. We're going to be starting with the Ironclad. He has an HP of 80, starts with 99 gold, and he gains 6 HP uh, back on every uh, at, at every combat end. Words are hard today. I'm having trouble talking. Don't know why. As always, guys, if you enjoy, make sure to let me know by leaving a like, leaving a comment, leaving something on the video. So we got our whole big dungeon here, and we're going to kind of progress up one at a time. So this is the roguelike element where it's kind of different, uh, procedurally generated areas and enemies and layouts and whatnot. So we have unknown, merchant, treasure, rest, enemy, elites, and then finally the boss of the floor. Way up there. No, we can't just skip up there. I tried. So we gotta figure out which path we want to take. We can start over here on the left, in the middle of the right, and we can kind of see what we're gonna do. Uh, something I'd like, there are two merchants here, so that'd be nice. Uh, let's go this way. Let's just start right there in the middle, and it's gonna be combat. Yep, I already know the tutorial. Already done it. So, this is our first room, and we've got a couple piles of goo to fight. Okay, we got a sp uh, spike slime and an acid slime. Above them, you're gonna see what they intend to do on their turn. This guy intends to attack for five, he intends to attack for ten. We have five cards right here out of our total, total deck of ten. The deck will grow as we go on uh, throughout the floors and throughout the run. Uh, we currently have three mana, or energy I guess it is in this game. Some games it's mana, some games it's energy. We currently have three right now, so we have all these have a certain amount of energy that they can use. And so, what do we want to do? Well, uh, we're going to take some damage here, unfortunately. Yep, so he's going to attack for five, he's going to attack for ten. Uh, we could block for 15 and completely negate this damage. Unfortunately, we do not have enough block right now, so we're going to block for 5 right there. We have 2 more energy, and so we could either kill this guy or damage both of them. Let's go ahead and just do 6 damage to him. There we are. And now we're going to take 5 total damage, because we're going to block 5 of his attack. And smack. There we go, down to 75. And we really want to make sure our health doesn't get too low, because it does carry over from room to room. So... Uh, do you strike? We can... Okay, so what's he doing? He's going to uh, n inflict a negative effect on me. So ironically, he's not going to attack right now. So we could just use all of our cards to attack, but all we have left is defend. So might as well get rid of one of those cards and get some block. He's going to lick me. Don't lick me, bro. Uh, I got licked. And so I've been weakened. I will do 25% less damage. And once we are out of cards, they'll shuffle back over there and redeal. deal So he's going to attack for 10 again. Let's see. Yeah, we're only dealing four damage at a time now. So I'm going to go ahead and attack him a little bit. And then use two defense cards to gain our, uh, ourselves ten block. He's going to attack. Bring it on, you stupid slime. So that's the basic game. Like, the, it's really not that complicated, but the sort of synergies that you can get with cards later on and have them work together is super, super interesting to me. We also have different potion slots up here. And then we will gain a bunch of relics. And relics have positive effects and we can get curses too that have negative effects on the entirety of the run. I really had a fun time with this game and I, I think it's pretty dang interesting. Uh, he's gonna attack for seven. He only has 16 health left. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see. What we can do, the bash will do eight damage and apply two vulnerable. So that'll make him weaker for more attacks. So right now we could do... Yeah, we're still gonna, not gonna do enough to kill him. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna attack him for 12. So, he's going to hurt me for 7 right now. That's going to take us down to 73 health. There we are. Oh, and he gave me a wound. So, yeah, that's basically he just ruins one of my cards. So, we can't use it for the rest of this. But we can go ahead and bash him. Finish him off. Shuck it, you stupid slime. We got 14 gold from that. And then after every uh, room and combat zone, uh, we do get another card as a spoil. So, we can add it to our deck. So we got Sword Boomerang, that'll deal 3 damage to an enemy 3 times. We can Uppercut, that'll deal 13 damage, apply 1 weak and 1 vulnerable. Uh, weaken makes them attack, that makes their attack weaker, obviously. And Vulnerable makes them more vulnerable to attack. So we, uh, the subsequent damage that we inflict after this is increased with 50%. And Twin Strike, deal 5 damage twice. Let's see, I like Uppercut, we're gonna go ahead and grab that one. And then you can actually upgrade your cards later on. So right now we're gonna go to a merchant, this little guy. Hey buddy! Welcome! 
Yeah, he's very happy. Uh, where we can buy stuff. We currently have 113 gold. Uh, we can't afford any of these relics. Uh, relics are really interesting. I love the relics. They're, uh, they really change up every level and every game. Because uh, you, you feel like this would get repetitive after a while. But I've only played a couple of, handful of games. And frankly, I did really good on my first one. My first two games I played on Twitch. And probably not going to do that good on this one. I just feel like <laughs> that's going to happen. So if you were there on Twitch when I did those first two runs and we got pretty far, let me know. I need you to uh, swear to these people that it did indeed happen. Because I feel like now that I'm recording this game, it's going to go horribly, horribly wrong. Alright, what do we want to buy? So we could get dexterity potions or a block potion. Those are pretty cheap. Or we could grab a card. Let's see what we got. Clash can only be played. Deals 14 damage. That's only if every card is an attack. So that's pretty unlikely. Twin Strike. That one's on sale. So we're going to grab that one. It looked interesting earlier. Uh, True Grit. Gain 7 block. Exhaust a random card. I like this one. Armaments. So you gain 5 block and you can upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. That one's super useful. Let's grab that, and that's pretty much everything we can get. Oh, we can also car remove cards. So, you can remove some of your lower powered cards, because you don't really want that many. Because the more cards you have, the less likely it is that you're going to be able to use the powerful cards. So, you kind of not always want the most cards, which is kind of weird, because I feel like in most games, you kind of want the most of things. <laughs> it's it's a different sort of mentality. Oh, uh, we got a regular enemy here. Let's go take him down. Oh, it's a slaver. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Okay, as long as he's not a thief. Thieves are super annoying. We'll probably end up fighting one of them soon. They're very annoying. Okay, right, so he's going to attack for 12. Let's go ahead and block for 5, block for 5. And... Mm, you know what? I, I, I kind of want to negate any damage we take. So let's go ahead and fully block that. And you can see we have 79 health. That's because we did heal after the end of combat. That's what this guy's uh, special power is. So he's going to attack again. Uh, okay, let's block. And then we're going to do... 12 damage to him, so he's only going to do 7 damage to us right now. That'll take us down to 72. There we are. You darn slaver. Oh, we can uppercut him. Apply 13 damage. Uh, apply 1 weak, 1 vulnerable. So we can uppercut him, and he's going to attack for 7. Uh, yeah, here's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and gain 5 block, and we're going to upgrade the uppercut. There we are, and now it'll do 13 damage, 2 weak, and 2 vulnerable. There we go, and we weaken him, so he's only going to do 5 damage, so our block will work perfectly. That's the sort of... I guess that's not really synergy, but you know what I mean. That's just the kind of deal I like. Okay, he's down to 23 health, and he is weak, vulnerable, so he takes 50% more damage from attacks. That's super nice. And he's only going to do 7, so let's go ahead and block. Oh, but we're weak too, dang it. Alright, so <laughs> that's funny, we're weak, and so is he. But it, it comes out to normal, because he's normally do 6 damage. That's funny. Okay, let's go ahead and let him attack. He's going to do 4 damage to us. Oh, no. He's only going to do... Yeah, there we go. That's fine. And now we can go ahead and bash his face in. Shbam! Take that, you stupid slaver. We are on the right side of history here. 18 gold. And we can add... Oh. Oh, it's a power card. Oh, okay. That's right. I forgot it's showing me the first time. All right, fire breathe. End of your turn. For each player attacked this turn, deal one damage to all enemies. Perfect strike deals six damage. Deals an additional two damage for all your cards containing strike. Uh, body slam. Body slam is pretty cool. Yeah, this is good if we're like doing a lot of blocking. I like that one. So basically, whatever your block is, it'll use as an attack. So if you get that card with a bunch of block cards, it would be pretty good. All right, so right here we can make a decision. Do we want to go over here and fight this enemy, or we can go into the unknown? Let's head into the unknown. It could be combat. It could be some sort of uh, scripted adventure. You find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. Its warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you in. So we can upgrade two random cards, but we'll lose 16 HP. Screw it. Let's do it. All right, so we upgraded this to 8 block, and we upgraded the ornaments card. Nice. All right, we'll go ahead and leave. And that's okay, because so we lost some HP, but we got a campfire up here where we can rest. And we can gain HP before I'm resting. Got another merchant. Have you seen my courier? Can't really buy anything from him. We could get an elixir. Block potion. Fire potion. Ooh. I've never used a fire potion, so... We're just gonna get it. And we had the exact money that we needed to get it. Why not? Potions are good, especially when we fight the boss. And we'll go ahead and head here. And we could either upgrade a card... Or we can heal for 30% of your max HP. So we're going to heal. We're just going to heal fully up. I've got some okay cards at this point. And let's go ahead and head to this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> I love these guys. It's a cultist. 
Crazy bird guy. So he intends to use a buff, so he's not going to attack me right now. So that's good. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see. So we only have one. So that'll do, do zero damage. So what I'm going to do, even though we don't need to block, we're going to go ahead and play armaments. And we're going to upgrade uh, twin strike. Yeah. Oh, wait. Upgraded all of them. That's right. I forgot you don't have to choose. Okay. Twin strike. Da -da, 14 there. Another nine. There we go. Did some decent damage. And incantation. Okay. So he's got... Uh, Ritual, at the end of his turn, gain three strength. So he's going to attack for six now. Let's see. I don't have my upgraded defense card. There is one defense card in here that's upgraded. So that would be nice. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah. We'll defend and then we'll bash. Um, yeah. Uh, wait, no. Too vulnerable. That's not going to weaken his attack. That's right. So it'll just mean he'll take more damage. Okay, no. Let's just do this. Because that would only do eight damage. Let's just strike him twice. So he's actually going to do... One damage to me, but we'll heal from that anyway. I don't want to get below six. I think six is what we heal at the end of combat. So as long as we can keep it over six, we're good. Now he's going to attack for nine. Let's go ahead and defend twice. And then just strike again. He's already pretty weak. And then we turn. And schmack. Blocked it. Punk. Oh, he's got more strength. Yeah, we want to take him out now. So this will do 12 damage. Eight. Yeah, this should kill him. Bam. And then chicka bam. Goodbye, Cultish, you feathery fool. Ah, ha, ha. All right, we got... Ooh, energy potion. Nice. Very cool. And we can add a deck to our hand. Block no longer expires at the start of your turn. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Huh. Uh, gain energy, lose 3 HP, or another armaments. I kind of like that. Let's use bloodletting. Since we do g regain health i think that might be an okay card to use uh let's go for the question mark i feel like i always go for the question mark hey it's a dead dude i haven't seen this you came across a dead adventure on the floor his pants have been stolen he looks to have been eviscerated and shot by giant claws those possessions are still intact you are you in no mind you're in no mind to find out what happened here okay uh find loot 25 percent monster returns all right let's just oh god dang it it's 25 percent oh we were caught off guard Look, I've seen this guy before. He had way more health than Lagavulin. Isn't that the like the whiskey that Ron Swanson drinks? Okay, so he's gonna use a negative effect on me. So we're gonna go ahead and play our armaments, upgrade these just so we can get some more damage uh, de deal de 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 dealt to him. Negative effect. What you gonna do, buddy? Siphon Soul. Dexterity down. Strength down. Ouchie. That hurts. Now he's going to attack for 18. Okay. So, oh, yeah, we can only defend. So we can we can block seven of that. Uh, we could bash him. Let's try the bloodletting card. So we're going to gain another energy. We're going to lose some health. So let's bash him. And then that's going to make him vulnerable for another seven damage. There we go. All right. So this is, this is going to hurt. This is going to really hurt. Uh, ow. 11 damage there. Down to 66. It's okay. Okay, he's gonna attack again. Oh, four block. That stinks. Ah, oh, maybe I should use the uppercut on him. That was... That might have been a mistake. Alright, buddy. Do your worst. 18. Oh, it's gonna do t take me down to 55. Or 56. Math is hard. <laughs> Basic math is difficult. Okay. Uh, he's gonna do a negative effect again. So we really... We, we want to do as much damage as we possibly can right now. So here we go, we have 8 damage there, so 12, 8, 20, so we can do 25 right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and do, let's do that. Bam, bam, and chicka bam. Okay, he's down to 41. Let's let him do his thing. That's gonna decrease my block. Oh my god, that sucks. Yeah, we really want to take this guy out quickly, because he's just gonna keep screwing me over like that. Oh, right, luckily we have our block card there. And defend there. And a current... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and body slam him. Bam! And I guess we'll just strike him. Get him down to 30. So he's gonna take us down. Another 9 total HP. Ow! You jerk! Okay, we gotta, we gotta take this guy out. Okay, 3 block. Uh, ba ba ba. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, 3 block. And 6. And do, 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 do. yeah, I really want to kill this guy as fast as we can. We'll take some HP damage there and just apply another 14. So if we can get three more attacks like we got two turns ago, we'll kill him on this next turn. Ow! 
Ow. Come on. Oh, and he's doing a negative effect. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, no! <sighs> okay, this won't be enough. Oh, wait, yeah, well. This will be per- Oh, no! Wait, deals one damage. No! <laughs> it's okay, we got him down to one HP. I forgot that we were, uh, our strength had been decreased. Alright, now we can just cut him. Down he goes. Wow, we took a lot of damage there. Okay, and yeah, we're down to half health now. Alright, we got 62 gold. Auric, Auric Callum. If, that, if you end your turn without block, gain 6 block. That is awesome. So we will always gain 6 block at the end of the turn. Block potion. Nice. Yeah, so that's our first relic. That's a super useful one. And a poison potion. I love poisoning. Oh, no, we gotta get rid of these. Uh, 20 damage, 2 energy, block. Dang, I should've used one of those. I, I always forget about these. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get rid of that. I like the, oh no, I probably should just left the poison potion. Oops, shrug it off. I do like this one. Yeah, let's shrug it off. So that'll give us some block, and we have to discard a card. Ooh, treasure chest. Ooh, what you got? Unceasing top. Whenever you have no cards in your hand during your turn, draw a card. Okay, that'll be nice. That rarely happens, and we're definitely gonna rest. Yes. I need to rest, thank you, up to 65 HP. Oh man, yeah, this <laughs> this isn't the best drawing in this game. Like, I feel like I could draw this. Maybe not, but there's some shadow in here and some curvature, so maybe not, but <laughs> that part just kind of sticks out. The game is early access. It's pretty dang good for early access, if you ask me. All right, back into the unknown we go. What you got? Oh, it's a merchant. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know they could pop up the unknown. Okay, Thunderclap, <laughs> which still makes me laugh because I believe we were watching American Dad and that's what he calls when he slams his butt cheeks together. The thunderclap. <laughs> uh, flex, gain two strength. Uh, what do I want here? I do like thunderclap, and it's on sale, so let's go ahead and grab that. And draw two cards, place a card on top of your hand. I don't really like that. We'll just we'll just hang on to our money. Thanks, buddy. Uh, to the unknown we go. Oh, who's this? Who is this? Oh, it's another slaver. Okay, oh, he's got a little net. Isn't that cute? All right, he intends to attack for 13. Uh, we, oh, man. Yeah, we can only, can only block. Alright, so we can do 10 damage here. Yeah, let's do 16 damage. Jet, yeah, and shabadoop. Okay, this is gonna hurt. It's gonna get me for 8. Let's take us down to 70 for 57. Okay, uh, he's gonna do a negative effect, so let's go ahead and... Hmm. Yeah, we're better off just, just striking him. Striking him down. Down to 14. And we get 6 block at the end of return. Ah, ha, ha. Forgot about that. Entangle? You cannot what? You cannot play attacks for one turn? Oh, that stinks. Okay. Uh shrug it off. Let's go ahead and yeah, eight block there. I mean Yeah, see if we get I don't know, draw a card, uppercut, we can't do that. Defend. There we go, we got twenty one defense. Uh that's what the net was for. A little turd. Blocked it! But we're vulnerable. Alright, we should be able to finish him off as long as we get enough attack cards here. Thirteen damage. Well, I wanna finish him off with an uppercut. So let's strike him and then BAM! Ah! <laughs> 19 gold! End of the card, what do we got? 7 damage to all enemies. I like that. Can only play any Yeah, let's grab the cleave. That'll be nice because there's some times where we do fight a decent amount of enemies. We're getting pretty close to the boss. Getting pretty close. Uh, what the heck? Acid slime. When its HP is at or below 50%, we'll split into two smaller slimes with acid slime's current help or current HP. Okay. So, he's gonna go ahead and use a negative effect on us. So, let's just do 10 damage. And 6, and another 6. 22 damage to start. So, he will split. Okay. Lick, don't lick me. Ah! Wow. Okay, we're weakened for 2 turns, that stinks. Alright, he's gonna attack for 11. Let's go ahead and defend. And defend. And, yeah, we can't use anything else. Yeah, whatever. Let's use Bloodlet. Might as well. And let's go to uppercut him. That'll weaken him down to eight. Beautiful. So he is vulnerable now for one more turn. Should be. Corrosive spit. Ow! Oh, we got two wounds. That stinks. Yeah, corrosive attacks tend to do that, apparently. Oh, right, he's going to attack for 16. Let's go ahead and defend. And armaments. And... Okay, yeah, we can only block. Dang it. All right, body slam him. Oh wait, we interrupted him. That's right. Okay, so when the, when he does his little split, he gets interrupted, 
And now he'll split, so he's actually not going to attack. Good. I completely forgot about that. So we got him to 50%. Okay, and 7 and 10. So let's do 5 block. And defend. Defend. Ah, uh, cleave would have been good. Okay. Yeah, well at least we're, we're going to block all this damage. Cleave would have been good because it would have taken them both down to 10 HP. Dang it. Ah, we got a wound. Okay. At least we didn't get any other negative effects. Alright, let's do... do, 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 do. Yeah, we have no defense cards. Oh, that stinks. We gotta take some of these guys out. So let's do 9 damage. Okay, so we can kill this guy. Strike, and there we are. He's dead. And maybe we could body slam, but that'd be kind of pointless. Yeah, whatever. Keep it going, but and we got our six armor. I love that. Completely forgot about that. It's beautiful. Thank you, our a rich a Rickalum? A rich column? Something like that. Alright, let's do I'll do ten damage. Okay, we got him. Ten damage there. And then we'll finish him off with these strikes. And he's dead! Take that, twelve gold. Explosive potion, deal ten damage to all enemies. Ooh, I like that too. Ah, uh, do we like that more than poison? No, we'll just leave that. I like the, our current ones. Feel no pain when the card is exhausted. Gain four block. Blood for blood. Only time we just combat. Hmm. Why is my screen flashing? You guys seeing that? The screen's kind of flashing. Huh. Shockwave. Ooh, I like that. Apply three weak and vulnerable to all enemies. That'll be good. All right, we'll just leave that potion. Let's get potion. Uh, okay, we got one more guy to go through before we can rest. Oh, what the heck? Sport clouds. Oh, it's a fungi beast. Gross. Nasty. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let's go ahead and shrug it off. Gain some block. And we'll strike. Whatever, this guy. So, what is this? Upon death, apply two. Oh, they apply vulnerable to me for two turns because they die. Okay, that's the spore that kind of bursts forth. And out. And blocked it. So, if we could kill them both like on the same turn, that'd probably be better. Ah, uh, no, we, we still want to just take them down as fast as we can. Uh, let's go ahead and defend. And... 13. Yeah, this should kill him. Not enough energy. Oh, I'm out. Jeez. Can I not count? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna take some damage here. And we'll block that, and he's gonna take us down to 60. Ow. Okay, we'll still gain 6 back at the end. That's okay. Uh, let's cleave. This will kill one of them and damage the other. We are now vulnerable. And he's just gonna use a buff, so we can just let's just do as much damage as we can. Uh yeah, here we go. We'll do armaments, and then this will do 14 damage to him. Okay. We got this punk. You going down. Oh, he's gonna grow. Ah, whatever. We'll kill, kill him right now. Like so. Shabam! Stupid fun guy. There's a humongous fungus among us. Another card, please. Corruption. Skills cost zero. Ooh, whenever you play skill, exhaust it. Ah, pummel. Deal two damage four times. Whenever a card is exhausted, gain four block. Let's try that. Feel no pain. Let's grab that. All right, and we can go ahead and heal up. And actually, this should take us to full health. Yep. We're going to fight the boss with full health. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Who do we got? Oh, this guy. Okay, I have fight. I have fought him before. So one thing important. About him, after taking 30 damage, he's gonna change to defensive mode, so we can use that to interrupt his attacks. So, what does that mean? It means what I just said. Okay, let's do as much damage as we can on this first little attack. So we can do 13 there. That'll take us to 19. All right, yeah, let's go and uppercut him. Oh wait, that'll weaken him too. So this one should do seven. Oh, it'll do nine. Okay, very cool. He's gonna go ahead and use a buff. Charging up. Destroy. Destroy, destroy. Alright, so he's gonna do 32 damage. So, uh, after taking 8 damage, so we can interrupt his attack by having him change to defensive mode. So, uh, we can go ahead and. Hold well, on, let's do armaments. Let's upgrade these cards. Let's go ahead and do twin strike. And strike. There we go. Okay. Now, he's not gonna attack anymore. Good, good, good. Card exhausted, bling. Yeah, whatever. Okay, cool. That worked out. So we completely blocked his attack by forcing him to go to defensive mode. And so now, whenever you play an attack, take three damage. We will take. Yeah, we're gonna take damage. 
for attacking him. Okay. So I think it's only for three more turns. So if we can just block this, we'll be better off. Because I think he'll eventually turn back into the other form. So if we attack him right now, we'll take damage. So we just want to kind of stay on the defensive and let him do his thing. Uh, but he's going to attack for 16 now. Hmm, so we might have to do some damage to him. Yep, alright, we're going to have to gain block. Uh, let's see what this card is. We're going to draw one card, feel no pain. Whenever a card is exhausted, gain 6 block. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Yeah, that should work. Okay, so let's play feel no pain. And if we cleave him, it'll damage us, but we blocked it. Why did that not give us more block? Every card exhausted. Oh! Exhausted, not just used. Okay, I'm dumb. I figured it out. Okay, he's up to 20. 20 attack. So after taking 40 damage, he's... So we gotta do 40 damage to stop this attack. That's not gonna happen, unfortunately. So, yes. We can defend as much as we can. Actually, we would have been better... I'm stupid. We would have... Oh my god. We would have been better off not using that, because I'm gonna gain 6 block anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and bloodlet and just use all these. Alright, full, 4 damage and vulnerable. So I'll make him weaker. And another 14. Yeah, so we gotta get him 3 more damage. Oh, we got another good defense card. Okay, that's good. That's good. Alright. Dang it, dang it, dang it. So he's gonna do 50, uh, 20 damage. So that'll take us down to 56. That's okay. Vulnerable wears off. So he's gonna go to defensive mode after we attack him. So we want to do the most damage we can right now. And let's go ahead and just do an uppercut then. There we go, get on 27. And he's gonna shift. So his current he is vulnerable. And we have no block or anything. Let's just hit him. It's gonna take 3 damage to me, but that's okay. Yeah, he's got all that armor. Okay, there we go. It's gone now. That was pointless. Sharp hide. Weak wears off. He's gonna attack for 9. Okay, so let's just defend against that. So it's 5 block. And defend. And yeah, we got nothing. Let's just go ahead and use as many defense cards as we can. Good stab. <laughs> like that even hurt. Yeah, we don't- we haven't been able to exhaust any card. Okay, so this card will exhaust this. Vulnerable and weak to all enemies. Yes, let's use that. It'll weaken him. That'll give us some defense. So now he's only going to do 12 damage. So we can defend against that. And let him attack. It'll take us down to 55. Twin slam. Blocked it. Alright, well let's do as much defense as we can. Let's do 8 there. and He's going to attack for 12. Let's just go ahead and bloodlet. And use, do as much damage as we can. So let's do Thunderclap. That'll make him vulnerable. And then do 20 damage there. And 9. And 9. Okay, we got a defense card. No, that's okay. Oh, man. Okay, this is going to do 4 damage to us. Oh, 48. Okay, buddy. We got 83 HP left. And he's going to uh, shift in 6. So... Let's see, what can we do the most of? In six, right? Yeah, so let's do a Thunderclap. Oh, I should have armaments first. Wait, oh, I forgot who's vulnerable. Okay, so he took more damage than I intended to. I didn't want him to change yet. Well, that's annoying. Well, let's go ahead and cleave. Do 10 damage, and yeah, this is pointless. I mean, that really didn't do anything. Ah, why didn't I upgrade it? Would have been better. Defensive mode, sharp hide. Oh, I forgot I have potions. Okay, let's use some potions on him. Uh, he's gonna attack for 12. Alright, let's go ahead and poison him. And yeah! So poisoning, uh, he'll take 6 damage, and then 5 damage, and then 4 damage, and then th 3 damage, and 2, then 1. That's how that works. Okay. Just an explanation in case you needed it. Let's go ahead and gain 1 block. So we have 8, so he's gonna hurt us for 1. That's okay. And let's bash him. Bash. And we block that. And let's, since he is vulnerable, he is vulnerable right now. Let's go ahead and throw a potion at him. Oh, wait. Potions don't make them vulnerable? Okay. That's okay. Alright, this is gonna hurt us four. Take us down to 44. And ow. We still have our block potion. Gotta remember that. Okay, got him at 16. He's gonna do 16 damage. Ah. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and drink our block potion. 
And let's go ahead and apply an uppercut. There we go, weekend him. And do do do. Oh wait, this is gonna kill him. Yes, I forgot that that was buffed. Yeah! Oh, oh, dude, beat the first boss. 98 gold, energy potion. And we can add a card, brutality. Lose one HP and draw one card, that's pretty cool. Uh, deal 10 damage if this kills the enemy. Gain three permanent max HP. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, heal from block damage dealt. Oh, I like that. So we can heal. But it's kind of like life steal. Okay, let's open this up. Choose a relic. Okay, so these relics are tough to choose. So we got Sneko Eye. Draw two additional cards each turn. Start each combat confused. That would suck. So it has a positive and a negative, basically. Black Star. Elites now drop two relics when defeated. Oh. That, that one doesn't have a negative, does it? <laughs> and it you gain a uh, relic, or gain energy at the start of each turn. You can no longer use potions. Let's go with the Black Star. I like the idea of getting more relics. Hopefully it doesn't mean that we're going to have more uh, elites. Jeez. 